I settled into bed, eager to start with my new reading material, but... Maya was sitting at her desk, carving a pencil idly into the pages of a notebook. Every few minutes she released a long, drawn-out sigh as the leather pencil whined against the paper. I lowered my book and looked and took the bait. Whoa, she changed clothes. That's cray. Ah, that's something wrong, Mai. She changed clothes too! As a girl stingers. Go the stingers! She let out a, another dreary sigh. I hope Gerard notices me. I hope Senpai notices me this year. Does Gerard know you like him? My world around in faint shock. But it sounds like she's still writing. I don't like Gerard. I love him. Oh. I closed my book and set it aside, deciding to play along. Well, have you at least tried talking to him? No. I mean, I have before. Oh, why don't you try again? She bobbed her head from side to side, considering this like had never crossed her mind before. Yeah, maybe I could do that. Satisfied to pick my book up. Back up. <laughs> Have you ever had a boyfriend, Hana? Okay, just real quick, it looks like Maya wants to go for Jared. For shits and gigs, I would have gone for Jared. Just to fuck her over. <laughs> uh, but I'm not... I'm not a little douchebag. Not a douchebag. Have you ever had a boyfriend, Anna? Huh? Me? No. Never. Really? Never? Never. Never! I bet you one... 10,000 yen. <laughs> Dumb dumbass. That you meet a totally cute boy here and fall in love by the end of the school year. Look, if you don't give me 10,000 yen, I'm gonna... Wait, 10,000 yen isn't that much. That's a hundred bucks, isn't it? Uh... $131.56. So... Not the most we could get out of it, but a pretty sweet deal. You're crazy. I buried my face back in my book, barring my from any further discussion. The bitch. Fall in love by the end of the year? Me? If I were a betting kind of girl, I'd take that bet. Wait, what? She, uh, was that a sudden burst of confidence that I didn't recognize? I woke the next morning with what felt like a lizard in my throat hole. That sounds familiar. I don't know what it is. Is it the tortured souls? I don't know. Um, Mai was already up, shuffling through her school bag with an in in a. I know how to say that word, but I can't right now. It uh, don't judge me. I can do it. I just don't wanna grin. The first day of skills. I thought you were wearing a hat, but it's a light. Anna, you're finally awake! Holy shit! Her voice slides through the air like a knife, and I winced. She was definitely a morning person. It's time for the first day of school! Aren't you excited? I can't wait to see what's gonna happen with those cute boys. Uh, what do you mean? Is something special happening today? <laughs> uh, something strange always happens on the first day of school, especially to someone like you. She winked. Someone like me. You know what I mean. Dicks. She smiled and started messing with a pile of papers on her desk. Shaking my head, I got out of bed and pulled my uniform out of my clothes. Eight. My palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy as I held the gold vest and blue jacket. Was it really possible for things to be different here than they were at home? What if the problem wasn't actually the school? I shook the thoughts out of my head and changed into my uniform. I don't know what the, that meant before, but... Oh! Hmm, what, what is it? You look so kawaii! Different... Uh, really? Heat crept up my neck. 
Yes, completely. Your hair matches your uniform so what It does? Sure. You look like a flower blooming straight out of the ground. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Look. The... <laughs> it's a bit past the moment, but I was going to say a flower blooming right out of the ground, which means her head is the flower, but the rest of her body's dirt. You know, I didn't say it, except I did, but I didn't. What a stung the- Holy shit, you cry more than Tobey Maguire and Spider-Man. What a stung the back of my eyes, and I turned to start packing my backpack. <laughs> what was I getting worked up about something as little as this? <laughs> I must have gotten less sleep than I thought. Is something wrong? No, nothing's wrong. I'm just... <laughs> happy. How dumb was that? I started crying at the first sign of someone being nice to me. Holy shit. I took a deep breath to steady my nerves. <laughs> what an oddly menacing lao. Third. All the air left my lungs as something like horse hooves slammed against my back. What, she slapped me? Ugh. You're doing just fine, kid. Don't worry, this is going to be awesome! I stifily peered through over my shoulder. That... <laughs> that... that was you? Huh? Mai stood behind me, her hand raised. Somehow she had the strength of a bodybuilder. Uh, nothing. Typical. I was just about to zip my bag up when I spotted the book Satch gave me lying on my nightstand. The Princess Betrayed. He said that if I ever needed to be transported somewhere far away, I could take it with me. Imagine if that's what it actually did. Like if we read that book and we went to like the world of Satch. It was pretty good so far. Maybe it would be smart to bring it along, just in case I had no one to talk to between class periods. Would I need it for my first day of class? Sure, why the fuck not? I put it into my already overfull bag, biting my lip. It never hurts to be it never hurt to be prepared, right? You're ready! Yeah, let's go! <laughs> Stick with me and you'll be fine. My opened the door and together we stepped into the hallway, merging into a steady flow of chitter uh, chittering girls and fruit flavoured perfume. Oh my god, it's a bitch face McGizzle. Emma! Uh, what? What the fuck? Oh my! Oh my my! I didn't know we lived on the same floor. No way, really. That's so awesome. I'll be able to catch up. Whatever happened between you and the Kyle? <laughs> the river of girls shifted as we headed down the stairs. Suddenly, I found myself surrounded by a bunch of people I didn't know. Oh wow! What a jerk he turned out to be! I can't believe he doesn't like Pokemon Go! What a fuck! Mai's exclamations faded into the buzz of the voices in the air. No, oh, no. What would I do if we got separated? <laughs> She's already leaving me behind. I'm not surprised. Anxiously, I searched a crowd of girls for Mai, but I couldn't find her. Everyone was dressed in the same Asagawa uniform. It was difficult to tell everyone, everyone apart. <laughs> Anyone apart. And being so short really didn't help the situation. I know the feeling, girl. As we turned the last corner down the stairwell, I saw a flash of red hair a little ways in front of me. My! I reached between the two guys and tapped her on the shoulder. Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, uh, oh, um. Who are you? Your eyes flash, almost like a jolt of electricity shot through them. Ah. Uh, I'm sorry, I thought you were someone else. Well, be a bitch then. She said nothing and turned away before I knew it. I stood outside of Primrose House, watching the flow of girls disperse across the campus. I was nowhere to be not my was nowhere to be seen. I couldn't even hear her chirpy voice. Oh man, why are we still friends with her? Seriously, she's didn't done nothing but let us down. I took a deep breath, biting my loop. This wasn't a big deal. I could go to class alone. 
but I didn't even know where the building was. I reached into my backpack and dragged out my class schedule. Homeroom. 206 Poppy Hall? Is everything on this school related to a flower? Maybe Asagawa is a flower too and I just don't know it. Uh, which one was Poppy Hall again? Uh, when the classes, the classrooms on the other side of the of campus, I picked up the direction and began to walk, trying to ignore my rising panic at the thought of arriving late to the first day of class. Don't even worry about it, I always show up late on the first day of university. As a third year, when no one knew me, all the people staring... Um... How are you, Carl? You look a little lost. Someone called out to me, and I turned around, almost jumping for joy. When I froze. Oh my god! John Tron! Oh! <sighs> when I froze, a normal boots jacket! He was part of the normal boots club! I could practically feel my tongue swelling in my mouth if this was a normal boots club member. I had to make a good impression. He was one of the founders, right? Then he must be. John Tron! Um, yes. I'm new. I don't know where Poppy Hall is. I would do a JonTron voice, because there actually is, like, a jo dude a JonTron voice, but I can't. I'll just embarrass myself, so I'm just gonna give him my Alfie voice. You freshman, no problem. My class is in Poppy Hall, I'll walk in there. <laughs> it feels so weird giving these actual personalities a different voice. It's like I'm butchering them. Oh, really? That would be wonderful, thank you. Okay, Jacques is wearing a jacket as well, I just realised. Fuck. <laughs> Was this really happening? He began walking towards a large brick building in an enthusiastic manner, pumping his arms up and down like he was in some kind of show tune. I fell... Okay, <laughs> oh god, okay, I know what that is. I fell into step beside him. I didn't notice it when my pointed out to him, out to me, pointed him out to me yesterday. But Jontron had big brown eyes and a warm-looking face. It's true, he is quite quiet. He was basically a human puppy. <laughs> I glanced up at him out of the corner of my eye. Ape! A boy. A bird! On his shoulder, what the fuck? Is he a pirate? Birds always made me uncomfortable. Something about the ease which they could poke out someone's eye. Well, anyone could poke out someone's eye with ease. I just, like, reach in there. I'm like... <laughs> Easy. E-Z-P-Z. -Z. Lemon. Right? Squeezy. Is something wrong? Why'd you stop? Oh, I don't do nothing. Nothing's wrong. <laughs> he followed my gaze to the bird on his shoulder. Oh, this is Jacques. Ah, uh, isn't it cute? I hope I'm saying the name right. If I'm not, please correct me. <laughs> oh, jeez, it talks. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. It, it, it spoke. Yeah. Yeah. With his hands to his shoulder, Jacques climbed into his palm. Jacques is a robot bird, see? I mean, uh, Jacques is a robot boy, bird, see? Hello. Jacques' eyes gleamed a dangerous red when he spoke, but nothing else suggested he wasn't a normal bird. Except the jacket. In fact, if I hadn't known better, I would have said the red, eyes in, uh, the red in his eyes was painted on. Oh, that's amazing! Jacques twi uh, twitched his head to the side, examining me in return. The more he looked at me, the less afraid I was. What are you looking at? Oh, well, nothing. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, Jacques can be a little sassy. <laughs> hey, what are you calling sassy? I'm not the sassy one. I don't forget to feed you. Jokes, that was one fucking time. I was alone and starving in the frozen tundra of this empty world. Loveless. <laughs> Afraid. <laughs> Can we romance Jokes, please? Ignore him. I've been bringing him with me. <laughs> this voice always ties me up. Ignore him. I've been bringing him with me to the drama club, and he's taken a little too well to it. 
See, now I want to go for John because drama club, bruh. I see how this is. Shut me out like I have nothing to add to the conversation. Joxry took his place on John John's shoulder. This time facing away from us as as if miffed. We resumed our walk towards Hoppy Hall. No, oh, I'm John Tron, by the way. Call me John. Or Tron. Oh Hannah, nice to meet you. Hannah, that's a cute name. <laughs> oh, oh thank you. So how long have you had jocks? Jocks. Uh, since middle school. Uh, we've been together for four years now. Ain't right, that right? I'm not listening. Yeah, well. I love him to death. <laughs> I don't know what I'd do without him. It seemed like life would be a lot easier without him. But who was I to say? We arrived at the brick building. A white sign surrounded by puppies declared it to be, unsurprisingly, Puppy Hall. Oh, which room are you in? Oh, room 206. Seriously? That, that, that's the motherfucker's room. Oh, yes? Well, that's my homeroom. We're in the same class. John laughed and clasped me on the shoulder. Ooh. Wonderful. I guess I'll be seeing more of you then, right? Okay, now we have to go for him. I mean, come on. I mean, PBG still needs to be introduced. Alright. Oh, Together we entered Poppy Hall.